jambo natumai kwamba umzima tangu wiki iliyopita tulipokuwa pamoja ni wiki nyingine tunakutana katika kipindi chetu tunachokienzi cha mkulima tukiwa tayari kujifunza mbinu tofauti za kilimo na teknolojia zinazoimarisha afya kama desturi mieni wenu Frederick Mbala karibu ni shule iliona mengi ya kuigwa na nitegemeo hasa kwa wanafunzi wengi wale mavu kwa sifa tulizozipokea ilibidi tufunge safari Gumosi Gupili hadi Rongai tujione. Karibu Don Orion uone jinsi wanavyojiendeleza si tu kwa masomo bali pia kilimo. Tazama. Hapa ni eneo la Rongai mjini Nairobi. Kama tu vile maeneo mengi bali na majumba na maeneo ya kibiashara kuna mashule pia. Shule moja iliyotuvutia sana ni hii ya Don Orion Community Center iliyoanzishwa mwaka 2015. Shule hii ni tofauti na shule nyingine. Tulianza mwaka wa 2015 uh, and we work in three main areas which is education, rehabilitation which includes both physical, occupational and speech therapy and then we have the last part that you featured uh, greatly today which is the farming area. The last part ni kwa shamba ambapo tunajaribu kufunza hawa youth jinsi ya ukulima kwa sababu kwa kazi zote kila mtu lazima akule so this is a need that will always be there so tunajaribu kuwafunza kujua what are the various types of seeds mboga gani inazalimwa kwa njia gani na also this is a way of uh, them getting their own riziki mapato yao ya kila siku wanaipatia hapo kwa ukulima bali na masomo darasani wanafunzi wao hufunzwa kuhusu kilimo basi kituo hiki kilionelea kukweza greenhouse za mafunzo na pia kuzingatia kilimo cha peupe ili kuwafunza vilivyo na kuhitimu. Mbona tumechagua zote mbili ni juu ya training because tunataka kufunza hawa youth na hata society yenyewe kwa sababu they come here wanakuja hapa kuuliza tunafanya ukulima jinsi gani. Kwa hivyo tulionelea tukue na zote mbili ndio tuweze ku to them how to do farming in both eh, avenues and also there are some crops kuna mimea ambayo haiwezi fanya vizuri nje kwa sababu as you have realized we, we are attacked with many pests uh, uh, in the open farm so some crops tunajaribu ku manage hiyo magonjwa kwa undani we cannot manage all the uh, diseases and the challenges uh, in the open farm so that's why we needed to complement Bilusi ni mmoja wa walimu anayeshirikiana bega kwa bega na walimu wenzake ili kuwapa wanafunzi hawa elimu ya vitabu na ya shambani pia. Sababu yake kuu ya kuchagua hii kazi ni kupitia historia yake ya kibinafsi. Sababu nilichagua kufunza watoto wenye mahitaji maalum, mimi mwenyewe ni mzazi wa mtoto ana mahitaji maalum eh, ambaye anaitwa Shalini Wanjiko. Ako na condition itwa mentally challenged. Yeah, she got meningitis when she was 5 uh, months and uh, there after i discovered that she had disability and uh, through her alinifanya niweze kukutamani kuwa na watoto wale mavu kwa kutazama nyuso zao utangamua jinsi wanafunzi hawa wanapenda sana somo la kilimo wana uwezo wa kutaja aina mbalimbali ya mimea na mbegu tuzipandazo na hata matumizi ya kila mmea kituliangalia culture yetu vile iko na mahali ambapo tunaishi tumepata tunaona kwamba kitu kama kilimo ni kitu kila boma inahitaji lazima tuweze kulima kitu kidogo at least ndio tuweze kunufaisha ma maisha yetu ya kama kupata boga kitu yenye tunatumia kila siku nao wanafurahia kilimo ni wajeledi kwa kazi wanaofanya haswa ukiwatazama jinsi wanavyopalilia na kuvuna mimea kwa ustadi kabisa bila kuharibu mmea wote basi wakitusadikisha kwa uwazi iwapo ungetaka wanafunzi wote wale walipende somo la kilimo ama kuzingatia kilimo siku zijazo lazima mwalimu awatilie mkazo tangu akiwa nao darasani wanafanya vizuri sababu kwanza tunaanza tunaanza darasani hatuwaleti direct kwa e, shambani kwanza tunaweza kuelezea sham, ni darasani vile shambani kuko na pia tunaonyesha a lot of interest ndio at least waelewe why we are doing it na through that ndio sasa wanaweza kupenda kazi ya shamba na wanaifanya vizuri. Licha kuipenda kazi yake, Bilusi anatueleza kazi hii haikosi changamoto. Hawa watoto ni slow learners. Kwa hivyo as a teacher you have to be patient. That's one thing. Kitu cha pili, wengi hawana verbal communication. Kwa hivyo inakuwa ni ngumu kati ya mwalimu na mwanafunzi pia ku communicate. 
yes kitu kingine maybe ni hyperactivity ambapo unapata mtoto mwingine labda ako na very high hyperactivity kwa hivyo kumcontrol pia inakuwa ni challenge lakini hilo halimvunji moyo naye angependa wazazi wa watoto kama hawa wasife moyo wakati wanapokumbana changamoto zote kuwalea kwa wale wazazi walio na mazoea kuaficha watoto wale mavu mto wake ni huu kwanza ningetaka kueleza si vizuri kuwafungia wanafunzi kama hawa ni vizuri pia wakue exposed to the to the whole world kwamba pia wanao wanaweza kufanya jambo kama sasa wenye wakuku wana okay tumekuja kujua kwamba they can read wanaweza elewa kitu na pia wanaweza ingia into farm work na pia wafanye jambo wanafunzi hawa wana uwezo wa kujitegemea na kuwa kulima bora zaidi nchini iwapo watapata mafunzo mwafaka na mtu wa kuunga mkono kwanza ningesema kuhusu hii group already ko ili graduate last year ilikuwa ni furaha kubwa kuona kwanza wamevaa gowns na wame graduate to another level that was my happiest moment nilifurahi sana pia kuona kwamba sasa at least they can earn something hiyo ndio furaha yangu kabisa and with time najua kwamba wata watalipwa na pia kwa maisha yao itakuwa nzuri baadaye sababu maybe they'll have their own savings and they can do something else ndio maana wao hawabagui mwanafunzi iwe ametoka katika jamii ipi au ana ulemavu upi ili kutimiza jukumu lao kwa watoto hawa uh, watoto wetu wanatoka as far as langata and all the way to kiserian ngong and matasia areas that's the catchment area that tuna operate on tuko na center nyingine moranga similar to this one similar operation eh, ambapo tuko na 40 students uh, seven of whom have already graduated and exited wametoka kwa center wanafanya miradi yao wengine wana wamefuga kuku za kienyeji wengine wamefungua mkahawa kidogo mwingine yako na ngombe yake ya, ya maziwa so they, are, they can do this they can they can be empowered and be independent to live in the society and communities like any other person kwa miaka hiyo yote ambao wamejikakamua kuinua maisha wanafunzi wao bado hawajatimiza jambo moja ambalo jamii si yao tu bali jamii nyingi huwa nayo kuhusu watoto wale mavu tunataka kuona or we are working tunafanya kazi towards seeing society ambayo inakubalia watoto jinsi walivyo society ambayo inawaheshimu na inawapenda hiyo ndio that is our vision hayo ndio maono yetu tuone ya kwamba wamekubalika wamependwa na wameheshimiwa kwa sababu tukiweza kutimiza these three things the rest will come iwapo unadhana kwamba wafanyikazi hapa wanafurahia kazi yao kwa sababu ya mshahara mnono sivyo wenyewe wanavyosema nikikuja kufanya kazi hapa five years ago sikuwa najua about special needs i didn't know about autism down syndrome cerebral palsy sikuwa najua na definitely nikiingia hapa nilikuwa najua ni mimi nakuja kuwasaidia hawa youth na hawa watoto kwa sababu nimesoma nimeitimu niko na niko na degree yangu so i thought i'm coming to help lakini over the years wao ndio wamekuwa kinisaidia because i realize mimi nimebarikiwa na vitu mingi i can speak i can walk i can talk i can do so many things but for them they struggle they really struggle to make they make the effort to do these things so the question is mimi ni mwenye niko na hii nguvu na hii mambo yote nimebarikiwa nayo nafanya nini and every day you find out that we are doing so little about money this for me is more every job yes you need to get remuneration but i cannot say no this this ones are paid more this ones are paid less everything is about passion and that's what drives everyone who is working here we have parents in this institution tuko na wazazi ambao wanafanya kazi hapa so kila siku ni ni passion ina to drive the rest comes after this si mimea tu iliyopo mahali hapa wana mradi mwingine wa kufuga kuku wa kienyeji na si vigumu kuwafuga ha kuku pia hugarimu kiasi kidogo cha fedha kuanza biashara ya kuku wa kienyeji e, kwanza kabisa huwa tunasipatia chakula ya, ya kienyeji kuna ile ya tunanunua ambayo inaitwa kienyeji feeds hiyo tunaanza naye asubuhi kwa hii center yetu tuko na a lot of vegetables waste huwa tunasipatia around saa tano na nusu e, tunatoka hapo kuna ile leftovers watoto wakishakula chakula tunabaki na leftovers instead of dubbing the hiyo leftover tuna feed kuku zetu hizi kuku tunasipatia around 2 2 to 2:30 tunazipatia 
na zinakuwa ni rahisi kwa ku maintain uh, upande wa finding kwa sababu hatuna ile uh, nini expenses mingi ya hizo kuku na huwa sina magonjwa mingi hapo awali walikuwa wanazingatia kilimo cha greenhouse na kupanda mimea mahali peupe tu lakini baada kufanya uchunguzi kuhusu ufugaji wa kuku waliamua kuwafunza wanafunzi wao ufugaji kuku pia kuku tuliangalia tukaona ni rahisi kwa kuziundumia na pia ni rahisi kwa ku, ni rahisi kwa hao wanafunzi wetu kuziweza kusirisha wakati tuna hiyo training ya watoto hawa eh hawana ile akili mingi ya kunini but kwa hisi kuku za kienyeji ni rahisi kwa hawa kuzimaintain kwa sababu hasina muda mrefu ya muda mwingi wa kusifanyia kazi ni asubuhi wakuja waweke hiyo chakula na hiyo mboga na pia ile waste na zina wa saindia in fact hata wakitoka hapa kwa mambo mazao wanaweza wakaenda waanze hiyo kamurandi kwa sababu ni hata kwa capital ni rahisi sana na wanaweza kujimundu kutokana na hiyo bidhaa wanazopata kutoka kwa kuku hawa kienyeji ni maridadi na hilo ni kwa sababu ya kuwatunza vizuri tunaweza kupata mayai kwa hizo kuku na pia nyama na sometimes inakuwa mingi Tuna, tunauza wakati tunauza sile mboga tunauzia neighbors tofauti ya kuku wa kienyeji na wa broiler mbali na kiwango cha chakula na utunzi wanachohitaji kuku wa kienyeji hawashambuliwi sana na magonjwa kuku hizi za kienyeji tuna ndiro nazo ziko na magonjwa chache sana e, kama vile ile wakati wa mwanzo sikiwa ndogo kama hizi tuko nazo hapo ndogo ziko na ugonjwa ambaye ni ile zinaanza kuchikunja na kulemewa kidogo hiyo ugonjwa kuna ndawa tu tunapatia hii ndawa ni vaccine ya kawinda ya kuku ile ya kwanza kuziondoa kwa siwe resistant kwa magonjwa kuna ugonjwa ingine pia tuna huwa tunapitia kwa hizi kuku zina, zina kwa sababu siko nje kwa compound zina inta nini na hizi birds hizi ndege za angani kuna magonjwa huwa zinafura macho zina zinapotea macho na hiyo ndawa tu, tunatafuta kuna ndawa tunanunua ya kuzipaka haya ndawa kuna ingine, kuna ugonjwa wengine tunapata kutokana na maji kuku huwa zinapata typhoid pia kwa maji naye pia kuna tunachukua ile chlorine tunaziwekea kwa maji tunatibu ile maji sikikunywa ili zizipate ile ile ugonjwa so hiyo ugonjwa kama tatu ndio huwa tunakumbana nazo kwa hizi kuku za kienyeji na sikisha toka hapo sasa hiyo kuku itakuwa kabisa bila shinda yoyote Kongole kwenu wana Orion kwa kazi ya dimu Si kilimo tu cha greenhouse bali pia wanafunzi hao wanapanda mimea na mboga tofauti tofauti na kuwafuga kuku basi wanafunzi hao huingia shambani wakiwa tayari na ujuzi kutoka darasani la kutia moyo zaidi ni kwamba wamewaajiri baadhi ya wanafunzi hao walohitimu darasani mwaka uliopita ili nao wapate riziki na kujiendeleza kimaisha kongole kwenu don orion basi tukitafakari mashauri na mawaidha tuliopata kutoka don orion mie na meza mate nitarejea muda kusokoa mrefu usibanduke